Welcome back, everyone. So today, we're going to take a quick look at Joseph Duncan. Who is Joseph Duncan? Joseph Duncan is a serial killer. A serial killer who had crimes spread out all over the United States. California, Idaho, Washington State, Montana, Minnesota, and everywhere in between. He may, very well may have had victims. According to the Department of Justice and through his DNA, he may have actually been you know, part of a series of other crimes that he was never convicted of. But those crimes are still unsolved. But let's take a look at quick look at Joseph Duncan and why he's in the news today. And thank you for joining me. The sun is a little brighter today. Serial killer Joseph Duncan is dead. Terre Haute, Indiana. Nearly 16 years after he terrorized northern Idaho and murdered several members of a Coeur d'Alene family, convicted killer Joseph Duncan is now dead. Duncan's attorney disclosed late last year that Duncan had terminal brain cancer and did not have much longer to live. He died just after 2.30 a.m. Pacific time in a hospital in Indiana. He was on federal death row at a prison in Terre Haute, Indiana at the time. Joseph Duncan was convicted of killing Brenda Groen, Slade Groen, Dylan Groen, and Mark McKenzie. He murdered the family in order to kidnap Dylan and his sister Shasta. He, was held, he held the children for several, several weeks in captivity in Montana before returning Shasta to a Coeur d'Alene Denny's. After his arrest, DNA linked him to a, the murders of 10-year-old Anthony Martinez in California. Martinez uh, was playing in his front yard in 1997 when Duncan was um, on parole for a rape charge in Washington State. But he kidnapped Martinez while he was playing outside. He, the boy's body was found 15 days later. It wasn't until after Duncan's arrest in Idaho that he was linked to that crime. He has also um, been linked to murder of two young girls in Seattle in the 1990s through his DNA. His DNA subsequently, since uh, being put into CODIS and several other um, state databases, has now linked him to at least a dozen other crimes. After his release from prison, he moved to Fargo, North Dakota, and was attending college. Shortly before graduation in 2005, he was accused of molesting a young boy at a playground across the border in Minnesota. He posted the low bail amount at, at the time that was required and then skipped town. He was driving to Washington State to visit his family when he spotted the growing children playing outside their home along Interstate I-90. He hatched a scheme to kidnap the children, buying night vision goggles and stalking the family for several days. He videotaped many of the, of the horrific crimes against the growing children. One investigator said the videos shook him to his core. Since uh, searching his uh, belongings in the vehicle along with the items that he had stored in a uh, storage locker in Montana, we found a lot more than just that. Evidence that, that goes and may tie him to at least a couple dozen different crimes or crimes where he had stalked other innocent victims in the states of Idaho, Washington, uh, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Minnesota. Joseph Duncan, a sick, twisted serial killer who stalked children, killed, murdered, and tortured children, is now dead. Joseph Duncan is now going to burn for an eternity. He is going to burn for what he has done. Justice and some type of closure is finally available to the families of these victims. Goodbye, Joseph. The world is a much better place without you. Did you enjoy the content you just watched? I truly hope so. If you did, I would really appreciate if you'd give this video a thumbs up so YouTube uh, algorithm will uh, let other people know about this great channel and great content you just watched. 
If you want, you can also hit the subscribe button that is over there down below the video and subscribe to this channel so you can be notified of when the next video I upload is in the next live stream that I do on this topic. So if you would, I'd appreciate it. If not, thank you for stopping by and you have a great day.